How's it going guys? Chips here with you again and we are back today in Ark Survival Evolved doing another Let's Build video. In today's video, I'm going to show you step by step how to build this large arena you see in front of you, which has two rows of seating, locker rooms for each team, and also some box office seating for our high class citizens. So like I said guys, we are going to go ahead and run through this step by step, real slow, easy to follow along instructions. For all the materials you're going to need, they are down in the description below. And with all that said guys, let's go ahead and let's get to building. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this build. The first thing we're gonna do is place a line of eight stone foundations. Next, place a triangle stone foundation and three regular stone foundations on each side, like so. Then go ahead and place another triangle foundation on each of the regular foundations. Now you need to make sure you're snapping one on each of the regular foundations first, as so, and then place a third one in the middle to fill the gap. Now on the side, we are going to add a row of 15 additional stone foundations. Go ahead and do this on the other side of the build as well. Now again, add another row of eight stone foundations here. And continue the process we did on the last side with a triangle foundation and three stone foundations on each side followed by a triangle foundation on each stone foundation, and then one in the middle to fill the gap. This gives us the outline of our inner arena. Next, go ahead and fill the large middle space with stone foundations. It should take about 90 foundations to fill this area. Then go ahead and fill in these two end spaces as well. It doesn't really matter how you fill them in, just make sure you don't have any foundations protruding out. This will complete the foundation for our inner arena. All right, so the next thing we are going to do is we are going to make the foundation for our first set of stairs. Now to do this, we're actually gonna use thatch and triangle wood foundations because this is gonna basically be covered up. So you could use stone if you want to, but to save resources, we don't have to. So first place two thatch foundations on this edge stone foundation here. And then on the corner, add five wood triangle foundations followed by three thatch foundations followed by three more wood triangle foundations. And it's very important to stop right here and go to this side over here. Once you're over here on this other side, go ahead and do the same thing. Add two thatch foundations, five wood triangle foundations, and then of course three thatch foundations and three more wood triangle foundations. That'll bring us to this point here where you can then fill in with a final wood triangle foundation. And the reason that it's important to make sure you do each side at a time when you're going around these bends here is because if you were to just do one side and go all the way around, eventually our bill would become lopsided and the whole thing wouldn't work. So let's go ahead to this other side and just do exactly what we just did on the other side.
Now with the two ends complete, let's go back in here and add six more thatch foundations across, followed by three stone foundations right here in the middle of the build. Now we're doing the stone here in the middle because we will have an entryway that comes through here, which you would want your stone foundations as your floor. Then add six more thatch foundations. Once you've done that, you can go ahead here and fill this gap in front of the stone with three more stone. Now just head to the other side of the build and do this exact process all over again. This completes the foundation for our first set of stairs. The next thing we will do is we are going to go back in here and lay the foundation for our second set of stairs. Now this time we are going to use stone because most of this will be exposed. This will be our outer wall, so we're just going to use stone. So again, first add two stone foundations here at the edge of the thatch, and then we're going to add nine triangle stone foundations right here. Then place three more stone foundations. And then here we are going to place five triangle foundations. And then we are going to stop, head to the other side, and do this exact process again. So first, two stone foundations, nine triangle stone foundations, three more stone foundations, five more triangle foundations, and then one last triangle foundation to fill that gap. Go ahead to the other end of the arena and do this whole process again. Now we're going to go ahead and build out the side like we did before, this time again entirely in stone. So just go ahead and place a row of stone all the way across. Go ahead and fill in this little area here with stone as well. And then just continue to place them across and go to the other side of the build and do this exact same thing. This completes the foundation for our second set of stairs. Alright guys, so the last thing we need to do for our foundation is to lay out the foundations for our kind of box office seating area as well as our locker room. So if you guys don't plan on adding those to your build, you can actually skip this foundation part and just move ahead. So the first part that we're going to do is whichever side you choose as your locker room. All you're going to do for this is lay out three rows of 17 stone foundations. So now let's head to the other side and do the foundation for our box office slash, you know, entryway to our stands. So first let's do three rows of seven stone foundations, just taking it about halfway across. Now on this middle section where our entryway will be, we're going to take this out five more stone foundations for three rows. Then just go ahead and add three more rows of seven foundations on this side. So that does it for our foundation guys. This is a huge build and with that comes a huge foundation. I think just regular stone foundations alone we used like 344 or something along those lines. So this is a huge build guys. 
if you need to, if you, there's anything you missed or anything that I maybe didn't hit on well enough, go ahead, pause the video now and copy what we have. So now starting on the inside of our arena, we are going to build up the wall of our inner arena. So first we are actually going to start out on our locker room side. So you see over here, we have our locker room that we built the foundation for. So we're going to start off, just place stone walls across this line. And when you get to this entryway where our locker room entry is going to enter out into the arena, you're going to start by placing a stone double door frame. Now you may need to rotate the snap point to make sure it's facing the right way. The snap point you're looking for is the one that looks like it's deeper into these foundations. So this one right here. And the way you can test to make sure you have the right one is to place a stone wall on top. And if you're getting the blue outline, you're facing the right way. If you have this green outline, wrong way. So go ahead, place another wall here. You may need to rotate it again to have the blue outline. And then place another double door frame right here. Again, you may need to rotate the snap point. However, you can go ahead and test it again by trying to place a wall on top and making sure you have it the right way. Go ahead and place double reinforced doors in both of these spots. And then just continue around the rest of the build placing stone walls with the blue outline so that it's facing with the you know wooden pieces in. If you get to any foundations like this, just rotate them and continue to place. Now on the outside of the doors, we're going to go ahead and place a stone wall on this foundation and this foundation, flipping it to make sure it's the right direction. And then on this side, do the same thing. Now on either one of the ends, let's start with placing a wood ceiling above the thatch foundation, add three wood triangle ceilings, three more wood ceilings, and two more wood triangle ceilings. Stop there and head to the other side of this end and do the same thing. Place a wood ceiling, three wood triangle ceilings, three wood regular ceilings, two more wood triangle ceilings, and then go ahead and fill in this gap with one more triangle ceiling. Then head to the other end of the build and do the same thing. Now starting on either side, go ahead and add wood ceilings all the way across to fill in this area between our two end ceilings. And then go ahead to the other side of the build and do the exact same thing. Now starting on the side with our locker room, we're going to add stone walls on the outside of these thatch foundations. Build them too high and continue them across the thatch foundations. Once you get past these thatch foundations to the stone foundations, skip these and head over to these other thatch foundations and just continue to place two high stone walls all the way around this layer. Come back to where we left this gap and place three wood ceilings across it. 
Then once you have those placed, you can add three more stone walls on top of them. Now on those two high stone walls, snap a stone stair and do this all the way around the build. Now on the one high stone walls that make up the inner wall of our arena, go ahead and add a stone railing on top of each of these walls all the way around the build. This is gonna be kind of our guardrails that keep our fans in the stands separated from the field. Next, we are going to start adding details to what is going to be our outer wall. And the reason we're doing this next is because if we continue to place more ceilings, they'll get in the way of placing the fence foundations we need to use for this. So first, let's come in here on either side of our build, on either one of our rounded ends, and on this corner triangle foundation, place a wood fence foundation on top of it, and then place a stone dinosaur gate on top of that. Just the normal gate, not the behemoth. Now come over here to this other end, this other corner here, add another fence foundation and another dinosaur gate on top of that. Then head into the middle foundation, place another fence foundation on top, and we're going to snap a dinosaur gate to each end of the foundation like so, and this will be our appearance. Now heading over to this section here, add a fence foundation on the edge, place another gate, another fence foundation on this edge and place another gate and that'll give us this next section place one on the end here add another gate head over to the other end place one right here and add another gate now go to the middle and place one on each of these middle foundations and then snap a gate on the edge of each of them so that they overlap with the gates we've already placed and that'll look like this now heading over to this next section again, place one on the end, dinosaur gate there, one on this end and another dinosaur gate there. Give us this. And then heading over to this side, we're going to again place one on this end, add a dinosaur gate, come over to the other corner, add one here and place a dinosaur gate. And then place one more in the middle and snap dinosaur gates on each end to overlap like this. So now on the other side, we're going to go ahead and follow these same steps again to get the exact same look on this rounded side. You can go ahead if you need to rewind and follow along with the last part. I'm going to go ahead and do this really quick. Now let's work on either side of our box seat eating slash you know, entry area to our arena. So first on this side, go ahead and add a fence foundation on this edge and snap a dinosaur gate to it like so. And then place another one on this foundation here 
and snap another dinosaur gate to it so that they intersect with each other like that. Head over here to this long side and do that again on the edge here. Then come to the other corner and do it again. Fence foundation and dinosaur gate. Place one here on this foundation in the middle and add one on each side of that like so. Now go back to this first gap here that we created where we have this dinosaur gate here and on that middle of the gap where there's a fence foundation we're just going to snap four stone pillars high till they reach the you know top of the dinosaur gate so four pillars high like this now do that again over here in this spot here just go ahead and snap four pillars high Now on this side here, go ahead and place a fence foundation on this corner and just add one dinosaur gate on top of that and then four pillars high here in the middle. Here on this side, we will add a fence foundation on the corner with another dinosaur gate on top of it. And then just another fence foundation on this corner and another dinosaur gate on top of that. Here on this side, again, place a fence foundation in the corner here, add a dinosaur gate, and then snap four stone pillars in the middle. On this long side, again, place a fence foundation in the corner with a dinosaur gate on top of it, head to the other end and do the same thing, and then find the middle foundation here, add a fence foundation and two dinosaur gates snap to it so that they overlap. And then go to these gaps and once again fill them in with four pillars high on each of these two gaps on the end. Then lastly on this side we're going to place one more fence foundation, a dinosaur gate here, one more fence foundation here, and another dinosaur gate here, and that'll do it for this portion. Next, we are going to build out our locker room here. So first, come inside here right in line with the gates that we've already placed. Now make sure you're placing it on this inside foundation, not the outside one. Go ahead and place a wood fence foundation and a stone dinosaur gate as we've been doing. Then come down here to the last foundation before we have this entryway and add another wood fence foundation on top of it and another dinosaur gate. Then go to the middle foundation between these two gates, place another fence foundation and then another gate on each end of that foundation so that they cross like that. And then come in here to these gaps and just once again place four more stone pillars. For this middle section here, we're gonna place a wood fence foundation on the middle foundation of these three. And then we will just place four high stone pillars on each side of that wooden fence foundation. Next, let's finish off this side again with a wood fence foundation here, a stone dinosaur gate attached to it like so. Come to the other end and place another wood fence foundation in line with this one. Add another dinosaur gate there. Place another wood fence foundation on the middle foundation here and again add two dinosaur gates on each side and then finally go ahead and fill in the two gaps again with four high stone pillars. Now finally let's go ahead and do the outer wall. So first place a wooden fence foundation here on the corner and then on the corner add one stone pillar and one wood pillar. From here, we're going to count two spaces over. So one space, two spaces over, place another wooden fence foundation and add one more stone, one more wood. We will then count three spaces over and place the fence foundation, again, one stone and one wood pillar. Count two spaces over, place the foundation, add one stone and one wood. Count three more spaces over, 
add the foundation, add one stone, add one wood, then count two more spaces over, place another wood fence foundation, add one more stone pillar, one more wood pillar, then count three more spaces over. Oh, did not mean to place that, sorry. Go ahead and pick that up. Let's count three spaces over and place another wood fence foundation here. Again, add another stone pillar and another wood pillar. And then finally go two more spaces over to the edge, place another fence foundation and on the corner, add one more stone and one more wood pillar. Now starting on either one of our curved ends here, we're going to go around and fill in these gaps with four high stone walls. Now be careful and make sure you are snapping them to the foundation itself and not the fence foundation. You should be snapping it to the outmost snap point. So go ahead and build four high between each of these gaps all the way around this curved end. Now on the other rounded end, go ahead and just do the same thing, fill in every spot with four high stone walls. Next, for the outer wall of our box office area, let's first go ahead down here into this corner, and on this outside foundation, we are going to add a double stone door frame. Now, you won't actually be able to see the outline, however, there is no fence foundation here, so we should be good to place this without any issues. So go ahead and place it, you saw it placed there. Now, to test this out, just go to place a stone wall on top, and you can see we're getting the green outline, so we are good to go. We are now going to add four stone walls on top of this. So we're gonna have a five high total wall here. So now just go over here to this corner at the start of this and just go all the way around and build five high stone walls until you get to the other side. We are now gonna build this inner wall of our box office area here. So starting on this side, we're going to place a stone wall here. Now you need to make sure it's snapping on the inside foundation so that you're getting the green outline. Go ahead and build them five high on this one right here. And then take these six more across so that we get to this point where we have kind of this opening. We're gonna leave these three open for now. Just go ahead and build five high on these six that we just placed.
Now in this space here where we have these three foundations, we're going to add stone walls here, but we're only gonna build them four high. So do three columns of four high stone walls, like so. Now you can just continue along doing five high stone walls until we reach the end. Now we are going to do the inner wall of our arena here for our locker room side. So we're going to start with this middle column here. On these two ones on the side of it, leave those open, but go ahead and place four high stone walls in the middle one. Now again, leave these two open for now and go ahead and go all the way around on all of these other columns and just fill them in with four high stone walls, the same as we've been doing. Now back over here in these two spots that we left open, first go ahead and place a double stone door frame at the bottom, and then just place three stone walls on top of those. Do that on this one as well. Now for the external wall of our locker room, we're going to start in this corner by placing a two high wooden wall then here in the middle, place a double stone door frame and a double reinforced door with a wooden wall on top and then two more wooden walls. And then on this front face, you can go ahead and place two high wooden walls all the way across. Then on this side, again, place two wooden walls, a stone double door frame and a double reinforced door, wooden wall, and two more wooden walls. Next, on the inside of our locker room, we're gonna go ahead and on the right side of this door frame here, we're going to place two high wooden walls, two high wooden walls, and two high wooden walls. And then on the left side of this door frame, we're going to place two rows of two high wooden walls, a stone double door frame and double reinforced door, and then another wooden wall. And then we're just going to go ahead to the other side and mirror exactly what we just did. So three rows of two high wooden walls, And then we'll place a wooden wall, two wooden walls right here, two more right here, a stone double door frame and double reinforced door, and then one more wooden wall. Now, if we come over top of our wall here, we see we need to fill this spot here in. So again, just go ahead and fill all of these spots in with double wooden walls. So two high by two here, two high by two right here, and then turn over to the other side here and do that again, two high by two here, and two high by two right here. And then there is one other spot where we need to do the same thing. So if we come in through here, now we're in the inside of our arena, you see we need to fill these spots in. So first go ahead and just place two wooden walls and make sure you're snapping them so they line up with the other ones. Just one here and one here, and then go ahead and snap one here and one next to it. And the reason we're doing this, we're creating kind of the tunnels where our, you know, our fighters or whatnot will enter the arena. Next, we are going to add our second set of seats here to our arena. So first, starting here above this stone foundation, place a wooden ceiling, and then place seven wood triangle ceilings here. Then go ahead and place three more wood ceilings. 
and then place four more wood triangle ceilings, stopping right here at the middle. Then go ahead to this other side and do the same thing. Place one wooden ceiling, seven wood triangle ceilings, three more wood ceilings, and then four more triangle ceilings, and then go ahead and fill in this gap with your fifth one. So now we can come over to this side and we will take this straight across with normal wood ceilings until we reach that other corner. Now starting again here on this corner, place one more wood ceiling, seven more triangle ceilings, three more wood ceilings, and then four more triangle ceilings. And again, stop here in the middle, head to the other side, place a wood ceiling here above the foundation, place seven more triangle ceilings here, three more wood ceilings here, and then go ahead and place four more triangle ceilings and then fill the gap with your fifth ceiling again. Now you can go ahead and come back over to this side and take normal wood ceilings all the way across but do be careful when you get to these you know, middle walls that we placed, make sure you're rotating the snap points around so that you're snapping them in a line with each other. You want it to be snapping the ceilings to the ceilings, not the top of the walls. So then next we're going to get out stone stairs and what we're going to do is we're going to snap them to the third stone wall so that we still have a little bit of a you know lip of wall above our stair and it should be you know lining up so they are just above or just in line with these wood ceilings. So just go ahead all the way around the build and add stone stairs for our seats. So now we are going to go ahead and add wood railings on top of our first set of stairs to create a railing for our second level of seats. So over here in our box office area where we have this gap, we're first going to place one right here on this side and then we're going to leave the middle open because that's going to be how we get down from the second level to the first level. Place another one here and then just go ahead and go all the way around the build placing wood railings on this level right on top of our first set of stairs. Next, we're gonna go ahead and build up this box seating area a little bit. So the first thing, guys, I do wanna apologize. We need to remove these three stone walls here in the center. This was only supposed to be built three high, not four high, so my apologies for that. Just go ahead and remove these real quick. And then now that we have those removed, you see this space over here and that space over there on that side? We are going to go ahead and completely fill in these spaces with stone ceilings on the top.
Then if we come back over to the center where we left this gap, go ahead and place three more stone ceilings across the back here, connecting our two areas. And then we're also gonna fill in this corner of this back area, leave a two gap space here on that corner, however. Next, we are gonna go ahead and take stone walls and at the front, we're gonna drop them down two. And then next, we're gonna drop them down one. And then on this side, drop them down one and drop it down two on the front. And then finally, we are just going to place three stone stairs across these ceilings and then three more to connect our staircases from below. Here at the front of our box seats, we are going to go ahead on this edge and place three high flipped wooden walls, followed by two greenhouse walls and another flipped wooden wall, two more greenhouse walls and another flipped wooden wall. And then we will place a double stone door frame. And then on top of that, two more flipped wooden walls, two more greenhouse walls, another flipped wooden wall, two more greenhouse walls, another flipped wooden wall, and three more flipped wooden walls. Now just go ahead here on this other side and do the exact same thing. Now coming to the side, we're going to build three high flipped wooden walls on both sides and across the back. However, do not build anything on that outcrop that is sticking out on the back. Now here on this outcrop on the back side, go ahead and add stone walls, and you're going to place four more stone walls on top of each of our stone walls that we already have placed. So four stone walls all the way around. Then with those placed, go ahead and fill in the gap that we just created with stone ceilings. And then we're also going to take these stone ceilings three more out across the front here so that they're in line with the wood walls we have there in the front. Then we're going to drop some stone walls down from the ceiling. So on this one here, place three stone walls and at the bottom place a regular stone door frame. Now make sure when you're placing the bottommost one that you're snapping to the walls that are coming down and not to the ceiling at below. So they should go in line with the walls that are above them. On these other two ceilings, just go ahead and place four stone walls down. Then heading to the front, we're gonna go ahead and drop two stone walls down all the way across the front. And on this side, just go ahead and again, repeat what we did, place two rows of four stone walls down. And then on the last one, place three stone walls down and a normal stone door frame. Now with those door frames in place, you can go ahead and add a single reinforced door to both of them. Let's go ahead and also fill in the roof of these two side portions. So just place stone ceilings across the entire top of both of these sides.
Then we're gonna add a overhang to all of our roofs. How we're gonna do this is we're going to snap stone ceilings on the wood walls themselves. So like this, and we're gonna do that all the way around all three of these roofs. So go ahead, go around, make sure that you're rotating the snap point if you need to, so that they'll line up with each other. You see here, that one doesn't line up. We're gonna go ahead and pick that up and then rotate the snap point so it lines up and just continue around the back of this portion doing this. And then with this last one placed, let's go back to the front and we're actually gonna continue this straight across the front in front of the stone. We'll go all the way around the other side and stop again at the back where the stone meets, just like we did on the other side. Now with that one complete, let's go ahead and add a overhang to this top ceiling as well. Just go ahead and create one that goes all the way around this top ceiling. Here in front of the windows, go ahead and again snap stone ceilings on top of these stone walls to create a little bit of a cliff. So we're gonna add six of these across the front here. And then on top of them, just on the front edge, we will add wood railings. And then go ahead and just do this exact same thing on the other side. Now on our locker room, we're gonna go ahead and just fill in the top with stone ceilings. Then with that complete, go ahead and just like we did with our roofs on the other side, just create this kind of overhang effect all the way around this roof as well. Now let's go ahead and add a stone stair and two wood railings in front of this door. Go around to the other side and do the same thing on this door, stone stair and two wood railings. And then let's head around to the back side of our build where the entry to our arena is gonna be and again place a stone stair and two wood railings here. The next thing we're gonna do is we're going to actually head inside this area and we're going to head and right here next to that stone wall there on the top, we're gonna to go ahead and drop stone walls down to the ground from there. Then go ahead and right here on the opposite side, do the same thing. And then right up here, right below the stone stairs, we're going to go ahead and add another row of stone walls up on top of there and drop all of these down to the ground as well. Then we're gonna go ahead and go up top to build out our staircase. So right here, we're just going to place one stone stair, place a stone ceiling here, place another stone stair attached to that, another stone ceiling, another stone stair, another stone ceiling, another stone stair, one more stone ceiling, and one more stone stair. And that'll build a nice staircase for us to get up from the bottom down here up into our seating area. 
Then we are going to go ahead and wall in our staircase so it's not just hanging here. So first, right under this ceiling, go ahead and place two stone walls. Then add two stone walls next to it. Place two more right here. Two more on this side as well. And then two more right here on this side as well. We're kind of creating a little bit of a box here in the middle. Then just go ahead and build up all of these to the ceiling. It should be three more stone walls on each one of them. And so now we have a fully functioning staircase that can get us up here into the arena from our entrance down below. And so the last thing we will do for this is we'll just head up here to the top and right here we're going to go ahead and place two wood railings just to kind of fence in the staircase. We need to pick that one up, make sure they're in line. There we go. Just two stone railings right there. So the last thing we have to do on this arena build is to add that kind of lift overhang appearance that you have on a lot of modern day stadiums. Now this is optional guys, if you don't like the look of this, you don't have to do it. You could just leave with what we have here, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do it. So starting over here on this side, what we're going to do is we're going to use stone triangle roofs and we're just going to flip them around so that they are pointing up like so. And just go ahead and do that all the way across this wall. And then just, this will be the last one we'll place here. We'll just stop right there. And then we're just going to place another one on top of here. We're not gonna fill in that spot close to the balcony. Just add a, a few more going across here. Do not place them like that. Make sure you're getting them properly, obviously placed like this. And there we go. So that is kind of the appearance we are gonna have going all the way around the top here. Now, when you get to a corner and you go to place them on the corner, we'll add a few more right here just to kind of show you. When you go to place them on the corner, obviously they don't bend to the corners. So you're gonna have to place two of them on the corners like this, and they're gonna be a little bit overlapping I think it looks all right. It actually kind of adds a little bit of an edgier look to our arena. So we're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna keep that on there. If you guys don't like that, again, like I said, this part is optional. You do not have to place this lip on the top of the arena if you don't want it. But just go ahead, go all the way around and continue to add these as I'm doing. All right guys, so like I said, go ahead and just continue to do this process all the way around this top lip of our arena. For time's sake, I'm gonna go ahead and just complete this real quick. You'll see in a second what it looks like finished. But for you guys, just go ahead and continue all the way around doing this method. All right guys, so here we have the finished product with the lip done all the way around the build. I really like it. I think it gives it more of a modern arena feel to it. But like I said guys, if you don't like it, you don't have to add this portion. But my favorite part is actually if you come on the inside and you're on the field on the inside, I think it adds a very intimidating look where the you know ceiling is kind of hanging over you while you're in the arena. But anyway, guys, guys, that does it for the building portion of this. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to paint this entire build. It's going to probably take a while. And then I'm also going to add some decorations and I will come back and show you guys what I painted, how I painted it, and also, you know, what I did to decorate. All right, so I have finished up the paint job. So the paint that you're going to need for this is going to be white, black, mud, brick, and optional. You can also use blue. You'll see I use it for one thing that you don't actually have to do. It was just kind of a decoration type of thing. So what I did for this paint job, I painted these walls over here white, the wood walls there. I painted all of our stone walls black. And you can also paint the dinosaur gates, the pillars, and the foundations white, but you don't have to. It'll just kind of help them pop a little bit. And then I also painted the roofs up here and the roof of our locker room the brick color. And then I also painted these greenhouse windows black. And then other than that, the only other painting I did was the kind of ring around our wood ring around our arena there where our seats are. I painted that ring mud. I did not paint the railings. I left the railings alone just so they'll kind of stand off from the other wood. 
but the floors or the ceiling pieces are painted mud. And then also these walls over here are painted mud on the outside. So then for our decorations, we can go ahead and we can enter the locker room to start. And you'll see when you come in here that I painted the inner walls of the locker room blue on this side, just to kind of add, you know, like a team color to this locker room. And then I also just added a bunch of, you know, what are supposed to be lockers and benches to the locker room. And then you'll see if we go through here, you actually have no access to the other locker room. It is completely closed off until you get to the outside of the arena. You will not see the other team until you're out here. So let's head into their locker room and you will see again more lockers and benches and I painted their walls red. Heading back outside, you'll see I placed a line of wood railings down the middle here. I kind of set this up as a jousting arena. Now this could be used as many different things depending on what event you want to host. You could also place more of these lines of railings and have it kind of be like a dodo racing place where you would just line them up and race them. You could set up just some obstacles for it to be like a paintball course. It could be a lot of different things. Now let's come over to the entry where our fans will get into the arena. Right here at the entry, I added just kind of a little ticket booth area where we could have ticket sales. And then as you come up the stairs, we'll get to our box seating area. Open up this door and you have a table in here where we could be having a meal while we're you know at the fight. I also added a TV, quote unquote, where you could watch whatever the fight is while you're in here eating. And then of course there is a grill and some preserving bins and you know like a little bar area over here. And then on the outside you would be standing out here watching the fight while you're not in there. And I added some storage chest here on the end just to kind of box this area in because we can't add railings there on the end. And then this side is just set up the exact same way. All right, guys, so that is going to do it for this build. I hope you enjoyed the build. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was easy for you to follow along and get this built in your art, guys. If you did enjoy the video, do me a favor, hit that like button below. Leave me some comments on what you think. And of course, guys, subscribe to the channel for future arc building videos. Also, guys, check out the description below for my Twitter. I would love it if you guys want to send me some pictures of this build on your arc. You can do that on my Twitter. Anyways, guys, thank you again so much for watching. Thank you for being here today and have a good day.